Hi guys, this is Paul from PA Brew News. Today we're going to do Langonitas Hot Stupid. There we go. Let's see what this is. Ale. Bottled by uh, Langonitas Brewing Company, Patamalu, California. Petamo Petaluma, sorry. California. Well, there's a lot of... That's just a lot of reading. That's a lot of reading. Anyway, something caught fire and burnt down from just skimming it. But uh, other than that, I guess it's just uh, it's, uh, 102 IBUs. There you go. 102 IBUs for you. Oh my god. There's something going on. Alright, it didn't go on as much as I thought it was going to go on. There we go. I got a... Um, a nice waft of astringent kind of dish soap citrus qualities. There we go. Now that's a pretty, pretty looking IPA. A little bit of a hop haze in there. Off white head. Pretty soap sudsy on the top. Oh yeah, and a lot of that nice astringent hop quality. Sweet. There's some sweet kind of um confectionery sugars and caramels coming through the nose but there's a lot of the a nice astringent um, citrus qualities like I, I spoke about earth tones, pine yeah, I'd say there's a nice fresh uh, spruce kind of coming out of that with the pine mm, pretty nice, let's get into it, cheers That sweetness is nice. I, it's a little bit of a kind of like a juicy orange sweetness, mixing with that caramel, confectionery sugar kind of a taste and flavor. It's got a nice, surprising sweetness, but then it goes back down and finishes dry, dry and with a nice bitterness. Yeah, pretty nice. This is 8% alcohol by volume. There we go. Ooh. It's got a strange sweetness. It kind of builds and then drops. Whoa, whoa. It kind of does one of those, just the actual sweetness in the mouth. For the ABV, it's really easy drinking. I don't know when this was bottled. Tastes nice. Um, I don't know if they classify this as just an IPA or or what. Uh, missed the bottle. Soaps. Iceberg head. I'll give you a little time to read. Give it to me. Give it to Mikey. He'll drink anything. Up the bomber went in a toast when went to his lips and what happened next could not have been foreseen. Pop stupid. A slick reanimator green fluid oozed from the bottle. When it crossed his teeth and came in contact with the bitterness flavor receptors on his tongue, his eyes rolled back in his head, he did a sort of death rattle, a cloud crossed the sun, and all his hair fell off. A spot on the side of his cheek blistered and a little bit of, gr of juice squirted out lip lip laterally, starting a small fire. The rest of his head did an Indiana Jones melting Nazi thing and as his head drained down his shirt and into the open stump of his esophagus a little whistling noise came out with it of his navel which burst open and into his pals 
One in the forehead and other in the eye. Finally, the carcass slumped forward into a gelatinous mess, caught fire, and burned for three weeks. Let's talk. Call us at 707-769-4495. Cheers. Fun to read, but gives me no information on the beer at all. Thought I'd actually tell you something. More spillage. Check the time. Go. Oh, plenty of time. Well, I have to tell you. I don't know how old this bottle is, but it's not that bitter. It really isn't. I don't know what they're on about. It's not that bitter. But I've had very, very many IPAs with a different, bigger bitterness factor, so. It's not bad, though. It's kind of nice. I'm probably. 8.58 ish for this. I'm not too blown away by it. Not really much. I mean, I'm not really finding much to tell you about, and I thought there'd be a little bit more information on the bottle. A little watery on the finish, too. Right there, right right before you get done. But uh I'll probably give this an eight. Eight out of ten for hop stupid ale. As I said, it's nothing too amazing. The bitterness really level isn't as high as I thought it would be to make it that really energizing, enjoyable bitterness. Um it does hold its eight percent really well. Or hide it rather. Uh, it's easy to drink, but I'd actually d dig a little bit more sweetness because the thing it's not overly bitter, but it drinks really low in the sweetness and enjoyable wise. I think it would do with a little bit more sweetness for me personally. Not for you do you need to make it like that, but either make it a nice sweetness to make it extra enjoyable to drink or bitter the fuck out of it to live up to his name. This is a good call from V.A. Brunis. Cheers.